is holding the ferry up. It's in the early morning now. They had the ferry running just to take me across the river. So when we get across the river, I really figured their intention was on killing me. He's attempting to break up a fight. He puts his hand on this white man. He didn't punch this man. That's illegal. The essence of the Southern system in those days was total control. It was a totalitarian nation. Perez was making them do it. Perez made Landry file charges on me because they wanted to use me for example for the rest of the blacks. It's been said out here that you have a, uh, that you can grudgingly admire his blunt talk. He, he is honest about his bigotry. I'm not a bigot at all. <laughs> Anytime white people would decide that what you were doing was improper, you could be arrested for it. Perez built a jail on an alligator-infested island in the middle of the Mississippi River. Being arrested was one thing, but I didn't want to spend the night on that island. I was working with the law firm Collins, Douglas & Eli, which is the most important firm in civil rights law in Louisiana. Gary Duncan, appellant, versus Louisiana. Mr. Zobo. He didn't have no license to practice law in the state of Louisiana. Suddenly, the forces of civil rights and allies. Each time we lost a round of the case, Duncan was rearrested, put in prison overnight. It was all fixed. How do you prove that this system is racist at its very core? Paul McKay wrote, if we must die, let it not be like hogs pinned in an inglorious spot. In other words, we're gonna fight like men. I'm going to die defending myself. 